Hey guys, it's PC Guy here, and as you might have figured, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing and testing the Corsair Void Pro RGB. This is the USB edition, so not the wireless one. There might or might not be some differences in the quality because of the whole wireless transmission and not being wired. There is also a third version, which is a surround uh, called version, that is basically just with the USB. Not sorry, not USB with the 3.5 millimeter jacks. That you know the audio jacks that we are all used to from other headsets. Uh, this is the USB version, so that's what we're going to be checking. And as you can see, I'm still wearing the old set, so this is what I always sound like, what you are used to hearing. And you, I will soon show you how this actually sounds on uh, the new headset. There is also a few tweaks that I have. Um, found out that sometimes these headsets come with some weird factory settings so it might need some adjusting at first but I will show you all the process if it is necessary for now let us unbox the beast in question as you can see it comes with a nice yellow package and uh, for starters, uh, the settings that you can, well, the features that you can expect, there's uh, a little RGB element on the side. Uh, you can turn it on or off using the Corsair Q software, which can also be synchronized with other Corsair stuff that you might or might not have that are RGB. Uh, it has a noise cancelling microphone uh, that when you flip it up or down uh, kind of mutes, it, mutes itself. It has a few buttons on the earpiece on the left as I will show you, including a mute button and a volume uh, dial, uh, as well as uh, Dolby Surround Sound 7.1, supposedly memory phone uh, ear cups uh, to make it more comfortable, RGB lighting control, as we saw, as we already said, and a few other little gimmicks. For now, I will show you the headset, which is what you guys are here to see, and I don't want this video to drag too long without the testing. So, uh, here it is at the front, as always, with some... Uh, little sticky thing keeping it from opening and uh, this is what you can expect how it comes packaged comes in, what comes included in the box as expected the headset itself a little uh, foam uh, well noise filter let's call it for the microphone if you want to use it as well as a little baggie with I assume instruction manual warranty information uh, and all that sort of stuff let us give it a closer look but that's what i expect it to be warranty guide waste electronic equipment information and uh well instruction manual for the void pro itself now this is how it sounds the sound quality of the recording itself seems uh, okay i don't notice a drop in performance or anything of the sort my old headset as you can see this is the one uh, it's actually I don't know I have no idea about the brand because it was my wife's first and uh, uh, I mean I know the brand it's a Sennheiser that's a good brand I don't know the model and as you can see there's a slight I'm not sure if it's the video is picking it up but I have a slight feedback when the mic captures audio I have a slight feedback on the headset itself I can hear it like a little crackle uh, feedback noise now I have not installed the Q software yet and there are options for the headset and the Q software like the noise reduction and uh, echo reduction all that sort of thing so I am hoping that uh, those settings can somewhat help with this uh, little feedback that I keep hearing otherwise uh, it might actually be a no-go and uh, I might actually have to return the headset if I cannot fix it, but stay tuned and uh, let's dive into Q um, to see if we can fix this in the settings or if there's any settings that we are missing to make this run a little bit more smoothly. For the rest of the review until the Q part, the headset sits comfortably. Uh, it's not falling off like uh, some reviews I read before ordering that uh, the headset will just fall off people's heads. Uh, maybe they have smaller heads, maybe they have less hair, I have no idea, but uh, it is not falling as you can see and you're not going to be doing this sort of movement while gaming anyway, so does it really need to be super tight? No, that probably wouldn't be comfortable either. Now as far as the ear pieces are, it um, is comfortable as well, it goes completely over the ears, uh, it's not particularly sound blocking, I mean 
it is sound uh, muffling, let's say, but uh, if there's building outside your house, or if your neighbor's hammering, you're still probably going to hear it. It's not that sound blocking, but in, in any case, it is um, a gaming uh, headset with a price tag accordingly. It is not uh, an audiophile uh, headset that blocks sound completely in any case. As far as the LEDs go, as you can see here they are. They are syncable with Q. I don't have other Q stuff, so I cannot sync it with anything. Uh, also, the headset's not for me, it's for my wife, so um, there's that. Uh, do I find uh, very useful head, uh, LEDs on the side of your headset? Not particularly. It looks... if it's more for if someone's watching you play i guess than if you're playing yourself because you don't see it so i don't see the point in them uh in any case for a usb headset it doesn't matter because there's no battery for the wireless version it doesn't matter because it drains the battery faster so keep that in consideration the wire is 1.8 meters it should be long enough for most people if not there is always usb extensions that can be had to make it a little longer now i do have a small gripe with the cable uh, it's not very uh, it is that it is quite thick it is a quite thick usb uh, port so it might interfere with other usb uh, devices that you have if you have two ports very close to each other it might actually interfere and uh, they might not fit together you might need to have an extension I'm using an extension right now anyway because uh, of my desk thing but um, for an actual PC you might run into that issue and you might have to position it a bit strategically to avoid issues with the USB connector last but not the least before the queue I'm still going to show you guys queue and see if I can optimize this but let's see the other settings let's see the mute and that was very smart of me what I was going to say is that there is a little light uh, on the corner of your uh, microphone so it's at the corner of your vision so you get an indication that no one is really hearing what the hell you're trying to say just like I was doing and I forgot that I was actually muted but uh, that's something that you will get used to as you utilize the microphone the button is as you can see it works the both features work so it's easy to mute yourself if you need to talk to someone while you're gaming or something of the sort while the uh, queue is downloading, I might as well show you the wheel that you can see here on the side. If you look at my screen at the bottom right, it actually controls the volume and it just changes the volume of the uh, well, the headset, basically. Not the microphone, but the speaker part of the headset, so to speak. It uh, just controls it directly with Windows and adjusts the volume of what you're hearing easily. Now this is Q, as you can see. Void Pro USB, it's your device, it's the only device from Cursor I have. Now this is not a Q tutorial, uh, this is just for the um, product, the Void Pro USB headset. You can go here to the settings and try to update the firmware, but in this case it is the firmware that is uh, already up to date. And it has a couple of settings, like a little voice prompt, brightness, yada yada yada, but what we are looking for is here. Now here, this sight on bar, it was not... It Mic was feedback on. As you can see, this is how it was by default, and it's supposed to give you a little mic feedback on the side uh, of your thing. And this is supposed to fix the mic breathing thing. So now it is on. I actually don't hear as much uh, mic feedback anymore uh, after installing Q. So the drivers that come with Q already seem to improve it slightly, mostly because in Windows it does not have the noise cancellation, uh, echo cancellation, etc. Uh, there by default. So if you do get this headset, please do install Q because it does seems to, uh, just, just plugging it and playing is not going to give the product justice. So uh, do install those settings. Uh, in any case, I will mute this because from what I read, this does help eliminate any residual uh, breathing noises that I already don't hear, but just in case I'm going to do it anyway. Mic feedback off. So I'll just leave it like this. And uh, I also hear a bit less of my own voice on uh, the well, speakers, so to say. Uh, so it does make also a difference on how you experience it. If you don't have issues with the mic breathing anymore, and if you prefer to have it on, 
it's your choice, it's your headset. Uh, but I will just try and compare, and I'll stop the video now and actually listen back to it. After actually listening to it, either on or off, there are no breathing noises, but I do hear a slight, uh, tss, you know, like a little uh, rustling uh, interference noise, if you want, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a tech, uh, sound expert, to be quite honest, as you might have noticed, but there is a little slight background feedback uh, if you have your volume on the headphones all cranked up to a high setting. So let us see if there is uh, an actual uh, option to kind of normalize that. But before I uh, actually go and find it, you have here a lot of options for um, equalizer presets. You can do it themselves, uh, do it yourself. You can uh, adjust them and switch them easily via Q. Two. And it kind of yells in your ear which preset it is. But uh, anyway, you can adjust the equalizers here. Three. Whatever you prefer to whatever suits your needs best and whatever you think uh, sounds better and fits best if you're gaming, watching a movie, uh, doing some sound work or whatever it might be. One. I will leave it here at the pure direct, but one. You can enable it or disable it. Um, one. Per your. Uh, preference. As for the RGB, you have a number of options that you can enable. I'll turn it sideways like this so you can s actually I'll take... Yes, it's a bit difficult for you guys to see. I hope that you can, but you do have an enormous amount of options here from the single color, double blink, rapid blink. This is just for the blink. For all the other uh, options, you have rainbow, rainbow pulse, beat, static color, uh, temperature, so it can adjust uh, according to your CPU uh, temperature. You have, yeah, uh, you name it. You have spiral rainbow. Um, I'll just, you can adjust the speed there, for example. I hope you guys can see it properly. But anyway, there are a lot of options that you can sync. And this, like I said, it syncs with, uh, if you have Corsair fans, uh, AIO coolers, whatever, uh, this will all sync with that mouse, the stand that you can buy separately for this um, uh, headset. It links with all of that sort of things and uh, it synchronizes the lightning. So after a lot of testing and shuffling around with settings and uh, disabling uh, IQ, changing settings on motherboard, updating the drivers again, trying at different volume and all sorts of different settings, I kind of realized that the crackling and static issue was not coming from the video because the microphone recorded it like that, but it was actually being played like that by the headset speakers, because when I played the same video with my old headset, there was no static at all. Now, uh, there was it was not a harder problem, the speakers are fine, which is uh, good news, because that means that uh, your hardware is fine, no need to return, you just have to fix it software-wise. And what happens is that Windows automatically downloads the wrong drivers uh, for this headset, and even when you try to re-update it afterwards with IQ, it does not uh, overwrite the wrong drivers completely well, and it well just stays with that weird static noise when you have your volume a little bit over the, let's say, 60 or 70 setting. Thankfully, there is a fix for that. User at the Corsair forums, Barricade, has uh, posted a fix for this uh, earlier this year. It involves uninstalling IQ, going to the device manager and removing all traces of the drivers for this headset from there, unplugging it, uh, as well as making sure that Windows does not reinstall the wrong drivers again by changing the setting that he mentions here. It took a little digging to find where it was, but uh, it is there, Just uh, you just have to look for it. Uh, then again, rebooting, installing IQ anew, connecting your USB headset, it will reload the wrong drivers again. Then you have to delete them once more, reboot, and then it finally should be working correctly. So it is a bit of a workaround. It's not the simple plug and play experience that it should be, but the good news is that it's not a hardware fault uh, and it is fixable and you can have your headset then with no static and uh, no issues. I hear no static at all now when I am playing back the same videos that I was earlier uh, talking about static. So you guys probably heard no static at all throughout the entire video because it was not a microphone after all, it was just me hearing it when I played it back.
that is uh, it for the headset. Uh, there was a few hiccups, as you might have uh, realized, with the whole testing it process and getting to work perfectly and flawlessly. What do I have to say about it? Comfort-wise, it is quite comfortable and adjustable, and it all spins around and all that stuff. The mic mute is quite handy, uh, although it is not as... Uh, good as the wireless version apparently the wireless version mutes if you flip off the microphone like this and this one does not uh, the wired version only mutes when you do press the button and when you do it has a nice little light like you saw and uh, well it's quite handy if you're in the middle of conversation uh, through discord or skype or something and you want to talk to someone else then uh, you always have the option to quickly mute yourself the little wheel here at the back to adjust the volume is also quite handy uh, and it saves you from having like uh, my old one has a huge thing on the wire that you have to rotate and uh, when you get up it gets caught at clothing and all that and spins on itself and here it's a bit a lot more difficult to accidentally uh, uh, change your volume sound quality wise and mic quality wise now that the issue is fixed i would say that uh, it is a good value for their price the wireless version i cannot comment on there might or might not be sound degradation from it being wireless the, then there's also the issues with battery and all that stuff and the RGB uh, eating up light so uh, eating up battery I mean by well using it to just light up the side of your head that you're not even looking at but uh, that's a matter of personal preference in terms of comfort like I said they are approved they cover the ear completely they kind of muffle the sound coming from everywhere a bit not completely blocking it but again these are not studio headsets and uh, you also don't pay the same as you would pay for a studio headset headset also features Dolby surround sound 7.1 as well as stereo so you can kind of choose which of them you want if you are on PC if you are using them for a console like a PS4 or Xbox etc I believe they only support uh, stereo sound mode although I cannot really test that yet but on the PC you have both options so for the price that you pay for them I would say that if you do get them to work properly they are definitely worth the price if you are not willing to actually go and dig and uh, see exactly what the issue is and how to fix it then you might probably think it's a disappointment and a ripoff and uh, that uh, you got uh, static crackly headsets for that price but like I said it's a software issue it's fixable uh, you just have to actually go the extra mile to get it fixed should it be like that no they should just work out of the box properly but it is what it is and at the least you are not stuck with headsets that are malfunctioning now this has been Attic PC guy hope you guys enjoyed the review slash unboxing uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like that i'll try to do it whenever i can whenever we get some other new stuff to try out and uh, i'll see you next time